The one thing you need to know about opening jars is that you don't need a dude. There are three go-to methods for opening a jar. You've got your edge of the table, a wooden spoon, and a dish towel. Sometimes the go-to methods work, but not always, which is why we have a few other methods we're going to showcase. So what we're gonna try next involves friction. Friction is the force that we create when we rub things together and it can be really useful when it comes to opening a jar. Here I have a jar of pickles and a thick rubber band. I'm gonna just place it on the edge of the lid of this jar. What's going to happen when I try to open it is that I'm going to be able to use the magic of friction to open it more easily. No rubber, no problem. They say all you need is a common household sponge. Just dampen it a little bit and place it on the lid of your jar and twist. Yeah, no, let's try another jar. Supposedly the dampened sponge creates the friction that you want that we got from that rubber band, but I feel like I'm gonna sprain my wrist, truthfully. Let's talk about thermal expansion. I'm gonna get a little sciencey here. Basically, the thermal conductivity of metal is higher than glass. So I'm going to use this bowl of warm water to free what's inside this jar. All you have to do is soak the lid for about 30 seconds. So now you wanna be as quick as possible once the, oh my gosh, big fan of thermal expansion here. Guys, anyone else? If you've tried every method of opening a jar and you still find yourself in a bit of a jam, there's one last resort that I'm going to show you. It involves a knife. Basically, with a really sharp knife, you can very easily puncture the lid of the jar and break the vacuum seal immediately. Did you hear the pop? Because I did. Oh my gosh, seriously, it's so easy. And if you're worried that you're not going to use the entire contents of the jar and you want to, you know, reseal the jar, you can just put a little duct tape on that guy. If you're having trouble opening a jar, don't sweat it. There are so many different ways you can open a jar using common household items. My personal favorite, like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to The Spruce.